We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so a lot of y'all want me to come on here and break down the whole stripper bowl situation. So if you guys do not know, one of the hottest parties that went down this Super Bowl weekend in the ATL was the ATL Stripper Bowl. It was hosted and put together by ATL's very own P. I'm from Quality Control Music. He is the manager of Migos, Little Yachty, City Girls, Little Baby, and so many other people, right? So he decided to put together the Stripper Bowl and tons of celebrities were in the house. Little Baby even took a helicopter to the damn party okay so this entire situation was crazy check this out all right, so you guys just saw little baby stepping up in style. So anyhow, um, video started leaking all over social media of all the money floating around, okay? It was money everywhere. Quality control and his entire entourage, they were making it rain. So much so that it had little boots he shook, okay? Y'all go ahead and check out these videos. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey, check this out. I just left the stripper bowl. QC. And I just seen a nigga throw, I just seen QCP, that nigga P through $200,000, nigga. But I ain't count what his artists do, but I seen one nigga throw a $200,000. I was right there. Real talk, man. Fuck me up. I ain't never seen no shit. I missed that, I, I, I might have missed that me shit, but I ain't missed this shit. I seen a half a million dollars through in the club, man, and one dollar bill. Man. Real talk, man. I ain't gonna lie, though. Nigga gave me about ten, ten, fifteen thousand dollars, bro. Real talk, nigga get money, man. Real talk. Motivation, though, man. Real talk. This shit say quality control, scripper bowl. And they got the motherfucking Brinks truck, bitch. I don't play with my partner at all. Period. Period. What? Okay.
right, so you guys just saw the videos. You guys saw what Lil Boosie had to say. So then people were wondering, well, how much money was it? A lot of folks were saying that they were going to quit their jobs and start stripping. A lot of females online was feeling some type of way. It was insane. A lot of folks were just so enamored by the money. And it became even more controversial because one of the strippers that was there, her name is Star Jazzy. So basically she took to Instagram and she said this, since y'all got so many questions, we made $3 million and split it 25 ways. You happy? Have some compassion and ask us how we feel. After counting till 1 p.m., my eyes are bleeding. And then she showed a picture that went viral with just stacks and stacks of money, okay? So when I tell you folks were buzzing, some people were really pissed off, some people felt some type of way, like, you know what, I work a nine to five job and I don't make that money in a damn year and these girls made it in a few hours. So it was all this mess going on. Well, then immediately after that, a bunch of other strippers that were also there, they came and they put her on blast and they basically called her out for clout chasing, okay? So one of the strippers that was there, she went off. She said that she basically left with $2,000. There was over 125 strippers there. So don't let that money in that post gas you up, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this other strippers video that went viral on social media. Check this out. So word around the street is that the strippers at QC party only left with a few bands. <laughs> this is true. This is fucking true. And these fucking strippers, these fucking dancers is so grateful to have been around a fucking celebrity that they don't even get no fuck about how much they made. Bitch, if I would have knew motherfuckers was only making a few bands, I would have never went to that shit. Like, what the fuck? Y'all ass done scammed us talking about motherfuckers threw 500000 If motherfuckers threw 500000 baby, where the fuck is it at? Where is it at? Where the fuck is it at, baby? Because... I only left with a few bands and I don't get no fuck about being around no motherfucking celebrity. Celebrities be in my DM all the time, bitch. I don't get no fuck about that shit, bitch. Run me my motherfucking money. Bitch, run me my motherfucking check. Fuck is you talking about? I'm ungrateful. No, bitch, I've been scammed. Y'all scammed. Damn. Did y'all make money from the dough? Did y'all make money from these sections? Did y'all make money y'all? Like, what the fuck? Did y'all make money from the bottles and shit in the, in the bars? Why the fuck do y'all need to take our money? Why do you not? Why do y'all need to take all our money, though? For real, though. Because where the fuck is the money at, G? Motherfucker ain't leave with no four, five thousand. And the least we could have made was five thousand. Uh, uh, ho, ho, four? It would have been like, damn, I right, okay, whatever, four thousand. G, we didn't even make that. We didn't even make that. And y'all talking about a bitch needs to be grateful. I experienced some shit like this. Bitch, I'm mad as fuck I experienced this shit. Because, bitch, I'm wondering where the fuck my money at. I'm wondering where the fuck that bread at, bitch. That I done spent my money to come out here to get dance clothes, to get hotels, to get dance shoes, to get my makeup, get my hair done. I don't know what city y'all from, but baby... In Chicago, we show the fuck out. Bitches on the regular day sometimes make two, three thousand. On the regular day, when motherfuckers come show out, fuck is you talking about? Ain't no five hundred thousand dollars being thrown either. Let's get that straight. Fuck is you talking about, bitch? Motherfuckers on their birthday, strippers come out on their birthday, bitch, and, and get paid more than that. Get paid at least $5,000 on a birthday. So you tell me if a motherfucker come out and throw $500,000 and you only leave with the tools and frues? Get the fuck up out of here, bitch. That shit bogus as hell. I don't get no fuck with nobody say, bitch. That shit bogus as fuck. All right, so you guys just saw her video, and I definitely felt her pain. And sometimes you don't think about the money that strippers have to put in, you know what I'm saying, just to get their job done. The traveling, the gas, the plane tickets, the makeup, the hair, the nails, you know, all that stuff, you know, that comes out of their pockets. But anyhow, um, Gossip in the City basically broke it down. She did an update on the whole fiasco, and basically she says that Pete and his team only threw $250,000. Each girl got around $2,000 but had to pay $200 up front. The strippers were made aware of this in a meeting beforehand and knew that it would be a 30% cut taken off the top. 
This is normal for the gold room, except they had to pay up front, which was a first. So they made $1,800 for 14 hours worth of work. Not bad for one day's pay. So when you break that down, that's really $128 per hour. So hence why a lot of young girls are not watching this and thinking, you know, they've chosen the wrong career. Hell, they made $128 an hour. I need to go shake my ass, you know. And, and that's the sad part in all this is that a lot of sites are hyping this up. Because if you Google the ATL Stripper Bowl, most of the sites are reporting that, you know, $600,000 was spent, $500,000, a million dollars, and that wasn't the case. It was $250,000, which is still a lot of money, don't get me wrong, you know, but again, this was a one-time thing. So it's not like they're doing this every weekend where, you know, girls are talking about quitting their job and going to move to the ATL to go strip. That's not an everyday thing. You know, even girls I know who strip now, they don't bring home $2,000 every day. On some days when you have good days and there's certain people in the house, yes, you can walk away with $2,000. But on an average night, you're just walking away with a few hundred dollars. Sometimes you're only making enough just to cover, you know what I'm saying, the club costs. Because people forget in certain clubs, you got to tip the bartenders and the, you know, the bouncers and all types of stuff, security. So it's really crazy how a lot of these clubs are using these girls. And that's why, you know, we had that huge issue last year with the strippers versus the bartenders, where the bartenders are basically dressed like strippers, acting like strippers, but then they don't have to pay all these fees that the strippers have to pay. So this entire situation is crazy. But for the most part, there was no drama there was no fighting there were no shootings it looked like everybody had a good time and you know everybody walked away with something but for some people they say it was worth it you know being in heels for 14 hours you know being able to drink smoke and party with some of the biggest celebrities in the world you know what i'm saying a lot of folks would have jumped at that other people like this stripper are saying that it was not worth it she doesn't care about celebrities she's about her bag and if she was promised x amount of dollars that's what she should have gotten and so for this other stripper to try and lie and hype it up and say she walked away with millions of dollars is bullshit so anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning the ATL Stripper Bowl. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.